Hey, what's going on guys? Max here and today I am in a special location. We are in Rome, Italy. for you guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little basic cardistry move I like to call bookends. So the move involves three simple cuts. A kick cut and then just kind of like a spin cut. Very simple. I'll be teaching you those. And then there's also a little closer that uh, closes the whole routine together. It's a quick little fast move as I showed in the intro. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's pop right into it. Alright, so today we're going to be learning a very simple, basic cardistry move or cuts. It, it involves three different cuts. Uh, kick cut, and then just like a basic spin cut. It looks just like this, in, if I don't mess up, in fast motion. Um, so you have three little cuts and then a simple closer to make it look nice. So the first cut that you're gonna have to be able to do to do this move that I like to call bookends is just a kick cut. And it's just a simple cut where you move the a top packet of the deck into your other hand like that. So to do that, you wanna hold the deck in a middle grip, which is your middle finger on the top and your thumb on the bottom of the deck here. And then your pointer finger is going to be doing the kicking. So you're going to want to put your middle on the side here, holding the whole deck, thumb on the bottom, like I said, and grab a small packet, probably about 10 to 15 cards with your pointer finger. And that pointer finger is going to move that card to the side. So once you, once you split a packet, you're going to push it to the side and you're going to use that, that fatty, pa the fatty patty. <laughs> You're gonna use the fatty part of your hand to kind of pinch that packet and pull it off. So in slow motion, it looks like that. And when you're learning this, you can just also just keep going. Um, but here, I think when you, I'll try it in my left hand. So when you first learn it, you're gonna grab a middle grip, break that packet. And it's gonna be hard to grab that at first, just take it slow but eventually it'll it'll get really easy and you'll be able to do it quite quickly. Yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult, kind of awkward at first, but um, with some practice, you'll be able to just do it like that. So then in the next cut that we are going to be doing in this uh, book ends move is a spin cut, I like to call it. It's basically you're doing the same thing except for you're not grabbing it, you're using your opposite hand, your pointer finger, and taking it from the back. So, what this consists of is doing the same thing as the kick cut, where you're breaking that packet like this, but you're taking your left hand, if you're ready, and grabbing it from the back with your other, with your left hand pointer finger, and spinning it off your pointer finger. So you have it here, like this, grab it with your left hand, spin that packet, put it into your left hand, your non-dominant hand. Hey, I'm trying to film a YouTube video here. Crazy in Rome, I guess. 
Man, I gotta keep the windows closed when I'm trying to film a YouTube video. Cause, cause, I tell you what, Rome doesn't know how to be quiet. <laughs> so, so you, the, the spin cuts like this, you just break off a packet, uh, break that packet off, take your left opposite non-dominant hand pointer finger, grab it from the back, spin it into that hand. So it's kind of spinning forward. And that forward motion is important because that helps makes the cut look fluent with the other cuts I'm about to show you. So we have recap of what we have so far. We have the basic kick cut into the spin cut like that. So kick cut, spin cut. And when you're practicing the spin cut, you can practice just doing it over and over again that will help you get it down really well. So the third cut that we're gonna need to use in this is the same spin cut, but it's reversed with the thumb. So instead of grabbing it from the back with the pointer, you're gonna come up with the thumb of the left hand and cut that, spin that back onto that packet. So it's like kick, pointer finger spin, and then see, this is, this is why the move works so well and it looks fluent and nice is because when you spin that up with the pointer finger, you're already in the front to use your thumb to spin backwards and then close. So it's kick with the kick cut, then pointer finger spin, then thumb spin cut, and then close. So you're just doing that same thing with that thumb, that thumb cut, or the, I'm sorry, the pointer finger spin cut, but using your thumb and grabbing it from the front. So it looks like that. So it's thumb, the thumb cut is thumb to thumb, whereas the pointer finger spin cut is pointer finger to pointer finger. So that's something that you can also remember when you're doing it is that when you're doing the pointer finger spin cut, it's pointer, it's on both pointer fingers of your hands and the thumb is on both your left and right thumb here. And then you just, oh, I almost dropped them. <laughs> then you just dump. So let's review. You have a kick cut here, spin cut with your pointer finger, spin cut with your thumb. And then here's the last move is a closer. That's why I call it book ends because you kind of close the book there. So you have, that's the movement there. So kick cut, spin, spin, and close. So this close that we're gonna be doing here is quite simple. It's basically you have the packet like this in your biddle grip. Get a good view there, get a good lighting. And then you're turning the card over with your thumb like that. So you have your biddle grip here and then kind of, it helps to do it quickly. You're just turning that packet over with your thumb and then dumping it back on like you're closing a book. So from the side, it looks like this. So it's just that it's very simple. And when you practice this, you get it faster. It looks really nice to just close any packet. So it's just that simple. You have a biddle grip, push that thumb, turn it over and close it. So I'll go through it slowly one more time for you. So kick, spin with the pointer, spin with the thumb, and then close the book like that. Very, very smooth, very basic, but very smooth, pretty flashy cut that you can do. It was one of the first card issue moves that I learned and uh, made myself into, you know, kind of a little uh, routine cuts that flow together well that you can uh, use and show your friends, you know, if, if this is your first uh, card issue move that you learn, you know, it's a very basic move. It should only take you, you know, a few hours to learn. Um, the hardest parts are going to be, of course, the spin cuts with the pointer finger and the thumb. But after that, it's pretty much like bread and butter, you know. <laughs> that is Book Ends by yours truly. Whew. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little cardistry tutorial. I just thought I'd film something real quick while I'm out here in this nice hotel in Rome. Uh, if, if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and I can make some more simple cardistry tutorials for you guys. Other than that, <laughs>
you can like, comment, and subscribe right now. And we will catch you in the next video. So, peace.